All right, so in today's video, we'll be creating this great looking geometry node system, which will allow you to just draw in these flowers. Now I'm going to rendered view and I disable the overlays here. You'll see you can just easily add in flowers. It will also allow you to tweak the amount of flowers within the geometry node modifier here. So we could go for a bunch of them. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's how that looks. Let's get started on actually creating the system. I will provide a free base file, which you can download from the Patreon and the link will be in the description. It contains some of the assets and also the materials needed to follow along with this tutorial. I'm going to hide this object and I'm going to add in a new object. going to add in a path curve object. So there it is and tap into edit mode and make sure we actually have all of these vertices selected hit x and choose delete and now we have this draw tool over here and we can draw in a new curve so i'm just going to draw in the basic shape of our flower like so let's take this into geometry nodes and add in a new geometry node system i'm going to tap auto edit mode and first of all let's give our curve some thickness to do this i'm going to add in a curve to mesh a set curve radius a curved circle and we will take this into the profile of the curve to mesh which will now generate our basic curve shape here i'm going to set the radius of the curve circle to about 0.2 and now we can actually still tweak the thickness with this radius value over here and to actually get this nice tapered shape we are going to add in a node called the curve parameter and plug that into the radius here now this is basically a value going from um zero to one i believe or the other way around i mean zero to one so it will generate a thickness meaning zero here and one here one being 0.2 and zero being zero obviously now if we take a color ramp and we plug that in between here we flip it it will go the other way around. Now, if we set this to B spline, it will make sure that the endpoint is never actually zero. So um, we will get a nice gradual um, faded curve there, um, making it look nice and realistic as well. Finally, let's take a set material node and make sure we apply the stock material to this stock. And if you go into render mode now, you will see we have this nice green material added as well. All right, so that's the stock completely done. And before we go any further, I want to add some control or at least some visualization of what is what within the geometry node system. So we're going to add in a frame here and take this over here. Hit N to open up this menu and give it a label. Now, in this case, I'm going to call this one stock and just hide that again with N. Now, I'm going to remove this from the group output, which will effectively remove everything from our screen here. And we are going to work on creating the actual flower um, before moving on to instancing everything on our stock here. So for the flower with its base stock, we are going to add in a curved line. Now, if you plug that in here, we will get a line, which is over there. It's a line going up one meter in the Z direction. If you change this value, you can change the line. I'm just going to leave it as one and it will do nicely. Now I'm going to add in a resample curve node, which will basically mean that the line before the resample curve node was just one point here and one point here. So two points and now, with the resump curve node we just created 10 points so they are going along spread evenly here so if i make this number bigger so 20 for example we get even more points you know going everywhere all across so i'm going to leave this at 20 and i'm going to add in a set position node now what the set position node will do is basically say to each point individually move in a direction so if i take this to y1 it will move all of the points one meter on the y direction displacing our line in that axis. Now we can do this individually by giving it something like a noise texture. So I'm gonna add in a noise texture and take the factor, not the color, but the factor and plug that into the offset. Now we'll get this wiggly line, which is offset as well to the top there and to the sides. And we can decrease the amount of effect it has by decreasing the scale, which I'm gonna to set to 0.5, which will give a nice, even and smooth displacement. It is still um, up there and we want it to be aligned with our uh, origin here. And it's displaced that way because on average, the texture adds about 0.5 on each axis as well as the actual displacement. So we can easily fix this by adding in a vector math node, setting it to subtract and subtracting 0.5 on each of the axes. And this will always make sure that the origin is back at zero. So we still get the displacement in general, but not the movement to the sides upwards. So this is the stock. And we now need all of these nodes here and just take this over here with shift D. And in this case, take the set position, plug it into the set curve radius and take the set material and plug it into the group output. Now I'm gonna take the set curve radius again, but beforehand we are going to make the general radius smaller. So I'm gonna make this 0.05 instead of 0.2. 
2. Now for the radius here, just take this color ramp and plug that in here again. All right, so this is now the entire stock. I'm going to move it down here and I'm going to add in a new frame as well, just for clarity and rename this one flower stock. All right, so next up, we want to add the heart of our flower up top here. So I'm going to drag it in from the outline here and I'm going to take an instance on points node and take the geometry and plug that into the instance. I could just take the output here. If we do this, it will create a bunch of these hearts. So let me me just show you guys if i take this and i plug it in here it will create a ton of these so no bueno instead what we want to do is we want to take the set position here and plug that in there now, this will still create quite a few of these uh, 20 to be exact but we have way more control over where they are and they are actually following the line as it's supposed to now to tweak this we are going to use a color ramp take that into the selection and take the curve parameter again and plug that into our color ramp now if we change our color ramp to constant we should just get one of these i can show you how this works by adding in a join geometry node and taking the actual stock and combining that in there as well. So now we have one of these stocks and one of these hearts. The heart is quite big, so I'm going to make it about 0.15 in size. And it should always be aligned with the top. Uh, I can prove this by tweaking this and it should always work. So whatever value you choose here, it should work nicely i'm gonna leave it at 0.5 for now the flower heart actually had some hairs on it in the original um geometry node system and we can easily add these as well so i'm gonna drag in the hair object here and on the actual object here i'm gonna add in a distribute points on faces this will create a bunch of points which are over here i'm gonna add in another instance on points node plug that in between and take the geometry here and instance it on the points for the scale i'm gonna decrease it but i want a random value so i'm gonna add in a random value node there take that into the scale and set the minus to 0.1 and the maximum to 0.15 or so and for the rotation we need to use the distribute points on faces which will align it with the normal of our object making them stick out nicely like so i'm just going to increase the density to about 20 and now obviously because we need the heart again we are going to use another join geometry node and take the original flower heart and plug that in there and now they are both within the instance which is also instanced on our stock there. We are going to add in another frame. So take this here, add it in there. Let's name this one the heart. And next we want to add in the pedals. So I have the pedal object in here, which I'm going to drag in there as well. And in this case, we want to add another instance on points node, take the geometry and instance it on the points. And in this case, again, let's take our set position node, which is over here and take that as the input there. Now let's make sure we combine this. So another join geometry node will do nicely. Now actually, you know what? Let's take this up here and just plug it in there. Okay. So now we get a bunch of these leaves going along the curve now i want to decrease the size to about 0.5 or so maybe actually add a random value here as well so let's just take this one over here duplicate it with shift d and move it up here take it into the scale set this to 0 0.5 minus 2.4 which will generate a bit of randomness in the size of our uh, pedals there and we need to work on the rotation here so i'm going to add in a rotate instances and add that in between there and for the rotation on the instance on points before we actually do anything with the rotate instances i'm going to add in a align euler so align euler to vector and plug that into the rotation now i'm going to align them to the y i'm also going to add in a curve tangent and plug that into the factor now this will line them up nicely um which is quite hard to tell but it respects the actual curve which is going over here so um, the more the curve is angled the more the leaves are angled as well which will make it look more realistic now we have the rotate instances to actually rotate them along the entire thing there but before we do that let's make sure we only have some of these up top and i'm going to take the color ramp here and put that into the selection of the instances on points and for this let's take the curve parameter again and plug that in there now if i pull this white value down we should be getting some of these leaves appearing now i want about six of these so uh, i think one two three four five six that's six and i'm gonna add another stop there which is black and i want to make sure that the leaves only spawn below the heart there so um this should be good because they are now below it but the points are just not enough now let's take a resample curve node plug that in between there and set it to about 60 or so now if we just take this freeze it again so one two three four five move it slightly over six so that's about six leaves now we have the rotate instances here and we can take the random value and duplicate it 
let's change this one to a vector and take the vector and plug it into the rotation now let's zero everything out let's go into top view with number seven up here and i'm gonna take this value and just increase it until we get a nice even spread yeah 27 is pretty good now i'm gonna decrease this because i want the flower to open up slightly i'm gonna go to 0.5 minus 0.5 or so and for this one i'm just gonna add a 1.15 for some random rotation along that axis as well and i think this is looking fine for the flower so that finishes the flower up as well and we now just need to combine the flowers with the actual mesh so if i take another join geometry node here take the main stock again plug that in here okay so now we have the stalk again and we need to instance all of the flowers along it so i'm going to add a instance on points node and plug that into the joint geometry as well and instead of taking this we are going to take the base input which is uh, all the way over here and take that into the points for of our instance now if i take this joint geometry which contains the actual flower and i add it you will see we get four of these or five of these depending on how long your line has been that you drew in a sense this is now working so if i tap into edit mode and i draw a new curve you'll see it does work and it spawns all of these flowers along the line however um there are way too few flowers and the flowers are not nicely aligned to the stock and we can easily fix that by duplicating the rotate instance setup we had created for the petals and the amount of flowers we can change with a resample curve node so let's do that for starters so add a resample curve node and plug it in before the instance on points now if i set this to 50 and i take this count value all the way here and let's pull it all the way back and plug it into the group input this will allow you to actually tweak the value from the group input so 10 or 50 whatever you want you have now control over it in the modifier now for the flower alignment let's just copy the entire setup from our petals here so first of all i'm going to take this up here and let's add a frame drag that over and to open up this window and let's rename this to petal and now let's take all of these nodes with the random value and this one as well hit shift d and duplicate them now in here let's rotate it like so so that it works nicely again now you can tell they are following along our curve again like they are supposed to the scale random value actually can go away take the rotate instances and plug that in between so like this there you go and we already get something over here and the flowers are rotating nicely i am going to change some things here so i'm going to set this to 20 make the rotation better in my opinion and also a very important thing is i want the flowers to point up slightly so i'm gonna increase the amount here to about 0.85 or so and take maybe 0.89 and take this and set it to about 0.56 so they are all pointing up slightly now maybe change this a bit until you get something that you like all right so the flowers are also rotated nicely now and the only thing is that we actually need change the scale going upward now as before we already did something similar that's by changing the scale of the thickness and to do that we use the curve parameter node so let's just take this one again and plug that into this would have so as expected it's a, uh, a zero to one curve parameter so basically meaning zero here and one here and it did exactly that it changed the scale to zero over here and one over there now we need to invert this and also have some control over it so i'm going to add a color ramp again plug that in between and set it to b spline again making sure nothing is actually zero there and i'm just going to flip it and maybe take this value and just make it slightly less black so the scale is actually going up on the end a bit all right so that's now full control over all of this and that's the complete flower done if i go into render view now you will see this is the flower and it, it is working and if i go over here uh, tap into edit mode make sure i have the draw tool still selected i can draw in all these nice flowers very easy i could even go ahead and delete everything and write for example something like uh, patreon and uh, yeah so if you haven't have a look there it contains the project file for this tutorial and all the other tutorials i've done before as well for just a couple of bucks a month if you go to the higher tiers it also contains materials and other freebies i've created throughout the years feel free to have a look it really helps me maintain the channel to become a patreon thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one